This will be the last overnighters of 2011. I wanted to get the pulk out, even though we don't have a lot of snow. It's enough snow to tow the sled behind me. So I brought my gear, and uh, night number one is going to be spent here in the Norse Hawk camp. This is the one I put pictures up of earlier. I guess uh, probably three, four weeks ago. It's 11 degrees today. A lot of light snow, calling for two inches of snow. So this is going to be home for the next 24 hours or so, and then I'm going to head deeper out into the bush, spend another night back there, maybe a third, just see how things go. That uh, standing dead busted out of the top birch, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them over there. I'm going to take one of those down for my night wood, and uh, I'll get back with you. The heat coming through that plastic wall is amazing. The shelter's like a sauna right now. So I don't know if you can see that or not. It's currently 81 degrees in this shelter. It's almost intolerable. Absolutely amazing.
if you can see that or not. And some brown gravy and ham. Mix the brown gravy with the water, get it nice and hot on the side. Fry the ham, bacon, whatever. So you got some grease and fat in the pan. Pour the gravy in and it instantly thickens up. Good stuff. So I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. One of the cool things about a setup like this is if you, I don't know if you can see the way this thing is, nah, you can't see it. Off the front of that shelter there is a, uh, my 5x7 mast, and I just got the top triangular piece there covering that opening. And what happens is, as that smoke rolls up off of that fire, it doesn't come into the shelter because of that piece. And that piece also helps retain some of the heat here inside the shelter. I may have to get some light in here so you can see some of this, but maybe you can see that uh, reflective casualty blanket there bouncing the heat back into me. From out here you can see it. It's just covering that front upper portion there, I guess the upper two and a half feet or so of it and across and it keeps the smoke from rolling up in there. Tend to hang a full thing of water up high and away so it's just warm. Come in the morning and it doesn't take much. And I got coffee going. 